I want to talk about why looking at a company's earnings in one year um, may not give a very good picture of the overall state of that company. Um, if we take a stylized company that has revenues of 100, costs of 95, and earnings of 5, if that company's revenues were to go up by 5% to 105, and the costs were to stay roughly the same at 95, that company would now have earnings of 10. So we would have gone from 100 to minus 95 of costs to earnings of 5, to 105 costs of 95 and earnings of 10. Conversely, if that company's revenues were to go from 100 to 95 and the costs were to stay roughly the same at 95, that company's earnings would go to zero. And in any given year, earn the earnings of the company are therefore largely affected by what happens at the top line and are very, very volatile. Secondly, if the company has extraordinary charges in a given year, and for example has costs of five related to a lawsuit or related to closing a factory or a, another one-off item, um, and the company's earnings were to go up, those com that company's costs were to go up by five, that again would affect earnings hugely. So a company that had revenues of 100 and costs of 95, if those costs went up to 100, again the earnings would go to, from five to zero and would be entirely wiped out. Now looking at, so therefore looking at one year's of earnings for a company um, is not, does not give a very complete financial picture of that company. Firstly because it's only one year's of earnings and it doesn't reflect the future of the company. But secondly, also because the earnings of the company are hugely affected by one-off charges and changes in the top line of the company, which uh, therefore mean that the earnings can be very, very volatile in any given year, and therefore the conclusions drawn from that one year of earnings are very susceptible to giving an inaccurate picture of the overall state of the company and the overall value of that. It's not something. It's something that is benefits hugely.